What's going on, everybody? We're going to be talking about this book, Business Adventures. And I think another great title for this book would be Corporate Misadventures. Uh, so for anybody who's heard of this book, you probably heard it on some reading list as like, you know, number one reading, one, number one book every business person should read, any consultant should read. Because it's a phenomenal book that does an amazing job of going into like some of the bigger challenges of major corporate businesses. You know, things like how do you communicate a message uh, effectively and a message that's going to improve or impact the way that your business is done. We'll use an example. So there's a there's a funny story coming from this book. And by the way, this is the audible version. Uh, the the book is fairly long. If you love reading, uh, I would totally recommend reading the book. But uh, I think for for the majority of people, um, an audible version of this is would suffice because these are just basically you know story by story and uh, of corporate misadventures or business adventures. And there's this interesting story, right? So thinking about how you communicate an important message down the line. There's one story about a company in this book, in uh, Business Adventures, about a company dealing with, I think it was like, like bribery or something. And when it came to that bribery, obviously bribery is not good. Obviously, you know, you, you don't do it in, in uh, American business. Now, uh, I think I think bribing people is acceptable in some other cultures, but in American cultures, it's it's illegal. And uh, the story goes basically like the upper management had communicated that not to do it, but the people who received the message thought it was don't do it, but do it if it makes the deal happen or something like that, right? So so this book touches on some some incredible concepts uh not just like communication like that but you know, it goes over through through uh, the journey of of different challenges that some companies had um in terms of of marketing a product why some uh, some products ended up succeeding especially for a car company i think it was uh, chrysler and also it talks about a lot of other really successful companies and some of the challenges that they face. And it's not all, all just misadventures. Um, there's a lot of great lessons to be learned here, not just about like the, the faults of the corporate world or whatever, but when you are investing in a company or doing research or, you know, when you're major corporation and uh, that corporation, everybody's working together to try to create a new product, stay up to date in the market. I mean, this is such a great book talking about, you know, the potential pitfalls, how to handle certain conversations. And, you know, just if you plan on being in that world, if you plan on being a consultant, if you plan on, you know, maybe being a big time investor or something, you want to be an investor, you want to be a hedge fund manager, you know, just knowing this book is going to give you such a huge leg up because you have an opportunity to get some amazing insight on mistakes and lessons that have been learned from the past and things to look out for. So there's a lot of books on investing and, you know, whether they're, they're based on, you know, uh, just reading reports and, you know, checking the, the technical analysis or whatever, whatever methods that they're using, you know, those are usually, tied to tied to reports you know reports given to or or the the value of the company and then reports and financial analysis but the thing is is that a lot of the value of a business is tied to way more than the what's revealed to the public and this book starts to dive into those things that are not revealed to the public until they are, until they become a big enough issue that, you know, some journalist, some financial journalist had to dive in and, you know, did a ton of research on it. And this is 
insight that you usually don't see on the news. You're usually not going to research yourself, but it has some amazing value. These are pretty entertaining if you like stories about business and, you know, uh, corporate mishandling and um, and uh, business adventures, you know, the things that happen when, when there's the hundreds, thousands, thousands of people. But when we're talking about big business, I mean, you're talking about like the executives, you know, the primary leaders of a company. So maybe a, a few hundred, right, at most. So you got a few hundred people who, who are trying to work together to make a business grow, to build products, to, to market a product, to compete. Everybody's got a different personality. Everyone's got their own ambitions. Uh, you know, it would be great if everybody wanted to, uh, their sole mission was to improve the company's bottom line and everybody was aligned, but that's not the way it works. So to just be able to read this book and hear about some of the potential mishaps and some of the lessons and, you know, some of the things that can, can be done right. And even, and to realize that even, you know, when things are done right, there's just that tiny, that one piece of information that can, that can make or break something. And this, uh, this book goes into many of those um, as it relates to, you know, if you're a consultant, if you're going to be a, a big time investor, I'm not talking about, you know, somebody that just wants to like buy one or two stocks or, you know, just wants to keep up to date on, uh, on their portfolio, but literally, you know, people who are going to be um, institutional I think it's called institutional investors, you know, people that are going to be investing tons of money, you know, at least a hundred million dollars or so. Um, you're going to be doing research into companies. You're going to be, and that was just an arbitrary number. Maybe the, the, the starting point for institutional investing is like 10 million. I don't know. Um, but if you're looking into that, just to have some awareness on some of the things to look out for, you know, you, you might not be facing as much, controversy as some of the stories in in business adventures have right you maybe you're going to want to be looking out for that but at least just have this entertaining read if there's any book out there that both combines the the drama of the business world with uh in an entertaining way while also making it informational and educational, I, I think this book does it very, very well. It's on a lot of great reading lists. I think it's on Bill Gates and uh, Warren Buffett's reading lists, if you ever try to look those up. Um, and just a phenomenal book, phenomenal uh, listen. Now, if you're not as interested in in uh, actually reading it, I think this this book does an amazing job. It, it's great because this book was written a quite quite a long time ago, but it still does an amazing job of capturing um, being well read on Audible. It flows very well on Audible, and you get a there's a link in the description below where you could get a copy of this book. And uh, you know, the Audible you, you listen to it while you're in a car, and what's great is like the, they're different stories. There are multiple stories of different businesses and the challenges that they had and the adventures and there are the things that they do with investors and things and all of that. So it's a great listen as well. Now, if you want a great read, uh, it is a very long book. As you can see right here, it's, it's two parts. I think they're like 12 hours each. Um, and of course, you know, with books like these, you always have the opportunity. What one thing that's great is you always have an opportunity to have a reader to speed up the reading and to listen to it uh, fairly quickly, you know, double, double to 1.5 times or two times and uh, try to follow along and, you know, take out the parts that you want from it and learn from it. But this this really is entertaining, not just and, and not even from like that reality TV standpoint of like drama and wanted to hear about corporate intrigue and and, you know, controversy, not even just from that standpoint. I mean, that that in itself is is fun to to hear, but also from the lessons that you're going to learn, the lessons that you're going to learn about marketing, the lessons that you're going to learn about communicating with investors, the lessons that you're going to learn about, you know, taking the extra step to find just a little bit more data when there's a lot on the line. Um, taking the extra step to make sure that you're drilling down the right message and there's no misinterpretation of your message. So uh, very important 
lessons in this Audible book. Uh, also, you can order it as a regular book as well. Fantastic read. Check it out. Link in the description below. And uh, with that, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this review of uh, business adventures or corporate misadventures. Uh, definitely, definitely some wonderful uh, advice and stories in here if you're in business. Have a wonderful day and thank you for listening.